What's up everybody? Brian here from Accidental Country Folk. Also got Asher with me. We're gonna show you today how to make a super fast, super hearty meal for the long days on the homestead. We're showing you how to make enchiladas. Okay, so more specifically, we're gonna make making goat enchiladas. Mm. I don't think that's gonna go over well with some of the people here on the homestead. We better pick a different variety of enchiladas. What do you got in store for us? Mm -hmm. But we don't have a cow. We so, don't. Uh, today's enchiladas are gonna be vegetarian enchiladas. Um, just because it's easy to keep those ingredients on hand and you don't have to go out back to kill a cow. And if it's the right time of year, maybe you can have some of the produce from your garden, which yeah. just makes these even better. Right now, we're in the middle of the winter, so we're gonna be showing you, unfortunately, we're gonna have to be using some store-bought produce. Mm -hmm. But let's talk about the ingredients. Okay, so for the ingredients for the enchiladas, the first ingredient you're gonna need is onions. Then you're gonna need some red pepper, and then tortillas, and enchilada sauce, and then cheese, and cilantro. And then if you want to serve it with some sides, you can do refried beans, some avocado, or maybe even some rice. All right, now that we got all our ingredients, the next thing we've got to do is make sure that we make this fun when we're cooking. So anytime we're cooking something, especially if it's some kind of ethnic meal like enchiladas, we like to make sure we have music to go along with it. Oh wow, that's nice. Yeah, is that good? All right, now that we got all of our ingredients out, it's time to get our tools out. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> so the first thing you're gonna need is a cast iron skillet. And I like using the cast iron for the tortillas. And you'll need a good skillet for the peppers and onions to saute those. And then a nine by 13 pan to cook your enchiladas in. And then you'll need a chainsaw to cut up your onions and peppers. Wait, what? Oh, no, scratch that actually. Yeah. You can use. I think we'll just use a knife. Okay, yeah. we'll use a knife instead. Um, and then a cutting board. Okay, we're ready to go. We got our tools, we got our ingredients. So let's get cooking. Asher's gonna get started chopping up the green pepper and onion. I'm gonna start working on mixing the sauce and the cheese together and getting our sides ready, the rice and beans. So let's get to it. Okay, so while Asher's chainsawing those, I mean, cutting up the you know, peppers and onions, uh, and I've got the side going back there, some rice and beans. The next step of the enchiladas is to mix together your enchilada sauce, which we just buy. Sometimes we'll make our own, but sometimes we just don't have time. When you take the shortcut, this is from fresh thyme, good whole foods, ingredients, and everything. So put a whole pack of cheese in there, and then we're gonna use two of enchilada sauce. All right, thanks a lot. Simply dump that in there. Asher's getting a little violent over there. All right, so we're putting both of those in there. We're gonna mix this mixture up, and then this is what we're gonna put inside the enchiladas and around the enchiladas. And then I've got some more cheese that we'll save that to put on top. So now, to make it more fancy, what we're gonna do is we have glasses you can use, you don't have to use fancy ones, but we are going to. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dip it into water here. Then I'm gonna dip it into sugar here, spin it, and then you have sugar on the sides. Then you can either use limes or we're just gonna use lime essential oil. Put a few drops in. And then we have sparkling water and you put the sparkling water in. That has, is how you make a Mexican drink. Okay, so we're cooking the tortillas now. We're not cooking them with any oil, because that that just heats them up and that way you can bend them. And then I'm gonna give it to Gabe and he's gonna put the, the soup stuff in there.
lots made, you want to cook them for around 20 to 25 minutes. 